I'm pretty good with all my stats and football stuff. Like I know. Good fantasy balls. Can you uh, soften good the focus on this guy? Right now? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, guys, we gotta get started. Oh yes, we do. Hi. Hi, everyone. Today we've got a very special guest with us. We've got Mr. Donnie Crawford. Yes. Hello. 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 Yes. Welcome. Thanks for being here with us. We gotta introduce ourselves too, yes. though, because you know we got some new viewers. My name is Roy Sayers Ashcroft, but you all can just call me Royce. You can just call me Kenzie. <laughs> and I'm Amari the Vegan. And I'm also thirsty. So, guys, what are we having today? Coffee or tea? I'm having kombucha fermented tea. Yes, so I'll just have a regular hot tea. And I'll do coffee. And I will coffee. also have coffee. Well, Donnie, yeah. we got to snap on three to bring it all manifested into this uh, plane, okay? You ready? <laughs> all right. One, two, three. Good Ooh, job, very nice. Nice. first timer. See? Yes. Cheers, everybody, oh, to yeah. an excellent, excellent episode. Cheers, cheers. cheers. eye contact. As we I get to so <laughs> Oh, for real? I'll During tell you cheers? about it later. Tell me about it later. Let's find out about Mr. Filmmaker. But first, we gotta. Mm. Oh, get rid of our phones. What? Mix the... How am I gonna refer to my notes? Brain power. <laughs> I got this. I got this. All right. So, so we got. Filmmaker, we got extraordinary Mr. Donnie Crawford. Yes sir. yes, sir. You're working on a big project coming up. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, so uh, I've been working on a film for the last year. Uh, it's in development right now. Um, just meaning I'm getting the pieces together. Uh, the script is complete. And um, right now I'm looking for sponsors, trying to uh, raise money for the film. So that's why I'm here right now. Um, but yeah, it's exciting. It's about my grandfather uh, who passed uh, two, uh, December before last. And um, just at his funeral, hearing all the inspirational stories about him, um, things that I didn't know, uh, and let me see him in a different light. You know, in today's day of uh, superheroes, I had a real life hero uh, mm -hmm. as my grandfather and, you know, just felt compelled to tell his story. That is awesome, man. You said that you've been working on this now for a year. Mm -hmm. Y'all have got the script done. Yes. So you've got a lot of the hard parts taken care of. Mm -hmm. What, uh, after the sponsors, what's kind of the next challenge? What's maybe a timeline, if you could give us? Well, I'd like to be shooting this year. Um, thinking maybe, maybe the fall, but it really depends on the financing. Um, First steps is, of course, things like hiring our lawyer, uh, deciding on what our name talent is, who's available, um, who's, I'm available. And who's right for the part. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> like I can do all the parts in your <laughs> thing for sure. Okay, um, one okay. man show. Yeah, whole yeah. thing. <laughs> you know, you would, would definitely have you audition. Could be a role <laughs> for you. You there let you me go. know. <laughs> yeah. But the, especially if you're looking for sponsors now, you're looking for about maybe about three or five million dollars because a lot of that's going to have to go to me so you can afford me because I'm famous now. <laughs> My ticket price is... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. No, no, no. But seriously. <laughs> you got to need some money for us. For <laughs> What's been the most fun part about putting this uh, project together for you? Mm. You know, it's, it's the research. Um, a little bit about the, the background. Uh, my grandfather was uh, in, the, in the Army. Um, served in the Korean War, uh, came out of there and um, became a firefighter. And uh, he was a firefighter for most of his career in, in, in the Washington, D.C. area. Um, actually the first black firefighter at uh, one of the major uh, um, stations there in, in D.C. So it's a little bit of a story there um, and, and some of the things that I've heard through the firefighting, through the war. And I just want to kind of tell that story uh, for, for those veterans, for those first responders. We're dealing with themes such as uh, PTSD. Um, ultimately, he did pass from prostate cancer, uh, which is a, a problem in the African-American community. Um, just, you know, taking care of your health in general. Um, so we really want to focus on some of those themes and, and, and shed some light to that and hopefully, you know, bring a positive message and help some people. Well, you got a lot of bases covered on a lot of those things, a lot of different ideas and topics that is very inspiring to so many people. Mm -hmm. So thank you for doing what you're doing. That's awesome. Uh, well, something that I'm interested in, I do like writing and I do like 
I'm an actor myself, so scripts and everything. So who did you get to write the script? Did you have any part in that too, or is did you? Well, no, I'm not a screenwriter. No. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but my wife wrote the script. Oh, nice. oh my goodness. Yeah. My wife wrote the script. Wow. I uh, kind of told her what I wanted. Um, I really had pointed stories that I had heard that happened to him in his life. And uh, from there, she helped to fill in the blanks and we've been working on it together. And uh, she, she's done a great job. That's some of the yeah. best support that you can that have. Is. It's beautiful teamwork. Um, I guess my question would be like, what are you hoping that people take away from the film? Like when they're leaving there, what message do you want to make sure it got across or how are you hoping that it affected them as a viewer? Um, I think two of the biggest things is uh, number one, just awareness for uh, mental health. Mm -hmm. uh, PTSD, you know, we kind of think about um, it happens to people in war, but being a first responder, you know, whether you're a firefighter or a police officer or, you know, even um, an uh, average person at work, you may go through some, some type of trauma and you don't really realize the effects that it has uh, on your life internally and how it manifests itself. Um, so that's one thing. And the other thing, uh, like I mentioned before, was just health awareness. Um, you know, go to the doctor regularly, get your checkups, making sure you're, you take care of your body and um, just preventative maintenance. That is the way to be. Donnie, how can people get in contact with you uh, if they want to go ahead and help you with that $5 million budget? <laughs> <laughs> sure, well, my, uh, you can email me at info at showpalace.productions. That is awesome. I've, yeah. I've enjoyed my coffee and tea. You all? I enjoyed my, my drink. Yeah, yes, I did. I sure did. Well, thank you so much for being here. No problem. Thanks for yeah. having me. Thank you. I can't wait you. for it to all come together, and I know I will definitely be there. Opening night, hopefully. All right. like yeah, it'll be a big red carpet event. Yeah, Be Ooh, unique. We'll yeah. be there too. You already know. Yes. Like, you know, we've got your back. And we're well, excited. Be unique is one this. of our partners. Oh, well, that oh, makes there sense as to why you're here today. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. They, they've done, they've been great. Well, thank you again, Be Unique, for presenting coffee or tea with us. We really appreciate it. And we appreciate you all for joining us as well today. Be sure that you all like. You can share. Subscribe. Ooh. You can comment and you can check out Donnie's film. <laughs> See you next week. Thank you. <laughs>